Good morning everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. It's August 7th, Tuesday I think. Um, and let's go on with the car, electric cars I already drove and what I think about them a few months later since I experienced other cars and what they can do. So next car will be the Renault Zoe. I had the ZE40 R90 which means it had the 40 kilowatt hour battery, 41 I think, and the 90 horsepower, exact 92 or something, horsepower motor. Um, the car itself is pretty neat. It has a very nice size for me. I don't need a lot of space, so it's like it's a small car, and that's that. That was nice for me. What I think is that they tried you can see that they tried to build a very cheap car so that the car feels very cheap uh, it's all plastic and hard plastic and the armrest here for example it's all plastic without having a shirt or sweatshirt on uh, it, it hurts after a while and you, you can just see how everything is laid out uh, it feels a bit cheap when you're in there, when you experience other electric cars. And and this is how they sell it too. They, they mostly sell the cars be, uh, with a, a rent battery. So the, the buying uh, price, the base price is pretty low. 16,000 euros. But of course you have to rent uh, the battery and pay 79 up to 119 euros a month. That adds up. Um, driving wise the car is good but nothing special so cornering was okay acceleration is a bit weak for an electric car that's why now they're building a, an R110 that is 110 horsepower which people think it's the same motor, motor just the software doesn't restrict it that's a bit stupid and because it has the same efficiency uh, efficiency on this car is okay for the city and country roads even over a hundred kilometers per hour efficiency goes down and with 130 on the highway it's just way too much for that small car and for that small battery so highway driving 130 kilometers per hour you don't get too far and it's okay for like I said for the city and that's okay but for me that wouldn't be a car I want now and the next thing what's what does support that even more is the charging speed with 22 kilowatt that now it doesn't work anymore you can't do that Yes, there's a Q90 version where you can charge with 43 kilowatt, but there are not many in Germany, and they were imported from France, not all of them, but a, but a few, and there's talk that, that those uh, have problems sometimes with charging, that they don't accept the charger, and blah, 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 because it's AC, not DC. And there aren't many 43 kilowatt chargers. So, charging wise, the car is not that great. And they already announced that the next generation of Zoe's will have a CCS charger as well, so you can charge uh, DC, and that will be way better, and they know that. Uh, so, overall, the car. Like I said, it's good for city and maybe country road driving, but for me, who wants to go on the highway a bit too, and for that price, uh, no, just not for me. I like driving it; it's okay, it's it's comfortable. The seat, but again, they're not as, it's not as comfortable as all of the other cars. All of the other cars I drove are way more comfortable. They drive better, have made more power, can charge faster. It's just a small car and cheaper, but if you count in your rent and everything at the end, it's still cheaper, than, uh, but it, it, it adds up. But what nice about the Zoe is that you can get very cheap ones, uh, used ones. 
So, so Ionic Nissan Leaf, you can get the old Leaf, um, uh, but Ionic and stuff like this, eGolf, it's harder to get a used one, but with so it's no problem. You can get a used 22 kilowatt hour battery Zoe uh, for for 10,000 euros or less. So that's very cool that, that the used market is is so big because the, it's the most sold EV in Europe. So there are a lot of cars out and they're, they're building a lot of them. But otherwise than this, and, and, and a big problem for me with the rent is, it sounds okay that you have unlimited warranty because of, of renting the battery, but uh, what's important is when you drive, you have a, a certain amount of kilometers that you're allowed to drive each year, otherwise your rent goes up or down. So after a year, if you don't drive your 15,000 kilometers, you get money back, and if you drive more, you have to pay. And for me, that has a weird taste in my mouth, because every time I want to drive somewhere, now then I have to think, oh, this will cost me something when I drive. But and not just the electricity and that the, the car is less worth because you drive with the kilometers, it's st uh, still this adds up to that. So if I won't drive, I will save money and I don't want that in a car, especially electric car. That's what, for me, that's very nice. So for example, if I go to Prague, I have all three chargers to, to get there and come back. And so that uh, if, if I don't have to pay for the battery and anything, the drive there and back is for free, except for, for that the car's uh, value goes down with the kilometers and for drive uh, wear, so the tires and everything. But and that's an important thing for me and that's what I'm looking forward for electric cars. So overall, uh, uh, Renault Zoe is, is a good car, it's a good attempt for an electric car, but I think it's the cheap charging speed, not acceptable range. Uh, okay if you do city or country road. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Take care.